So it was bins day today for me. Stopped by the Google bins for an hour just to see what I could find and I wanted to share with you today. Hey guys, I'm Angie and this is Angie Resells. Um, let's see what $32 bought me today at my Goodwill bins. So the first thing that I picked up were three books. Hardcover books for us are 75 cents and um, I do pretty decent on books. If you take the time to look them up, um, there's going to be a lot of duds, but you'll find some good ones too. This one is Lines and Fields and Electronic Technology. Believe it or not, no sales on this on eBay, but the two that were up there were listed for over, one was for like $60 and one was 100 So I thought I'll take a chance on it and put it less than them. I'll go under them and, you know, for 75 cents I can sit on it. Then this book right here super universes uh i didn't know anything about this subject so that's the kind of books i like to pick up and it looks like this sells for about um 30 bucks so that was pretty good and the other one i've picked up before is this really cool thing it's a wildlife explorer binder and if you see inside it has all these tabs um and all these little cards that I think that you used to be able to get these when uh, kids would get them sent to their house. So it's a whole binder of them and I'll be able to sell it probably for about $25. Okay, so I did get a couple pairs of shoes. One are these men's Tevas. Um, they're in pretty good shape. Need a little bit of cleanup. Looks like they are size 10. Bottoms look good. So pretty cute. These my mom actually found because she came with me and she's like, I never heard of mush. See if you look, it says mush right there. I said, wait a second, they're Tevas right there. So I picked them up and they are super, super lightweight. So we paid less than a dollar for those. And then look at this guy. He is Google's by Gantz and he is a platypus and he is like, so fluffy look at this guy you can't even see his eyes there we go anyways I do super well on plush that are older like this um, he even has he's the heritage collection yeah, this way uh, was there something on him oh it's just a little piece of fuzz so I'll do really well with him um, I looked him up now well then Oliver decided he had something to say <laughs> ignore my puppy Let's see. Ollie, what's happening? Hi. What are you barking at? <laughs> Ignore him. And oops, my bed is not made. Sorry. Um, okay. So now I probably ruined the surprise. Because what I did. My best deal of the day was this guy. Look at this. So this was in the bins when they came out. I was like, move out of my way. That will be mine. <laughs> um, not really. I just said, oh, I'd love to get that. It is a Cricut machine. It has everything in here and I got it for $5. So this was worth the trip by itself. Are you done barking at everyone? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, then the next thing I got was um, it pays to be friends and friendly with the people that work there. Uh, the girl who was at the front was like, come here, come here. She's like, look over there. And in um, this little tiny little tub was Mary Kay. So I got a bunch of Mary Kay cosmetics um, that are brand new in the box. All of these. And quite honestly, I don't even know what they, I mean, they're powders and eyeshadows, but um, some lotions. Um, I think these are the little lipstick cases, but they're all brand new. Uh, don't know what this is, let's see. Oh, this is an Elizabeth Arden Modern Skin Care Skin Illuminating Complex. Can you see that? Let's see does not want to focus let's try again anyways you get the idea 
Okay, some sunscreen by Mary Kay. And more lipstick. So a bunch of really cool items. This is refillable purse spray by Mary Kay. There you go. Some lipsticks. So basically a whole bunch of Mary Kay stuff, which I was super excited about. Um, it picks it all up when you can get it for a um, $1.79 a pound. You could get a lot of things for a pound. And one more pair okay. of shoes and I got these. They are Vans California Natives. Now you can see it needs some cleaning up on the bottoms here, but these were selling for um, over $100 on eBay if they're cleaned up. And I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely. And they, they were heavy, but I don't, you know, a couple pounds, but that's completely okay. Um, that's a great return on investment. Okay, and then the vast majority of what I got were, were um, bras and um, sports bras and things. Basically, they brought out an entire one of the large super bins and they were full of bras. I don't think I've ever seen them do that in all the time I went there, but I got this super cute Under Armour sports bra. And it doesn't have a size. I would. I will measure it, but I would assume this is a large. Then we got this Victoria's Secret um, Body by Victoria Perfect Shape Bra. It's really nice. It um, has a tiny bit of pilling on the front, but we will shave that to make sure it's good. A crazy super metallic bra that is by Adore Me. You see that? It's brand new. This is a Kashyyyk bra. Um, Maiden form. Size 40C. It's this one. And that's an underwire. Now we did find this. It is a brand new Victoria's Secret pink. It's still in the bag. $24.95 was the retail. Playtex. Looks like this one is a 40D. So this is no underwire. Now listen, I heard one time somebody say, ew, somebody was buying used bras. Send me all the used bras because I do incredibly well selling them. They sell super fast. I always have. Bras are super expensive, guys. Um, so if you find them in really good quality, pick those suckers up. They will sell. My mom picked this up. I don't even know what it is. Simply styled by Sears. And it is a new shirt. Look, it was $40 size large. It is really cute. Really, really cute button down. Super lightweight. I did not know we picked that up, but it's cute. This is also um, a brand new Victoria's Secret bra. Let's see. Oh, it's just, oh, it's a little bralette. It's cute and a size large. You can see the, well, yeah, it's, I was thinking of pilling, but it doesn't. That's just how the bra is made. Interesting. Another Under Armour bra. Must have been by the same person because they took the tags off of it too. But look how cute. Um, this is a zebra bra, which I love. And it is a sports bra, Victoria's Secret Sport. Another Under Armour sports bra. Oh, and this one actually says it's a large. That was It's inside out. So I, like I said, I thought the other one was a large, so I imagine all of them are larges. And this one is Be Tempted. Now normally that's not, I think that is like a Walmart brand. I wouldn't have picked it, but it was a super cute, it's not showing up the right color. It's actually purple, um, super cute color. It's like an, a heathered purple. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And another sports bra, this one is a Nike. Look how cute. Size large on that one too. This one is another bralette. 
Victoria's Secret. It even has the little pink on the back. And it's a size medium. This one is a Victoria Sport 36CD. Look how cute. This is, I think this is a swimsuit top. I never heard of this brand, actually. There you go. But we do a lot of swimwear, so I thought we could definitely get it because someone might like that. Did I see a size on that? Large, yeah. Let's see, Victoria's Secret Pink. And it says pink on it, obviously. This is a size 34B, little bra. This one is, looks like a Playtex. It is 42C, non-underwire. And just because, look, let me use, just because something isn't the style you would wear, definitely still pick it up. This one was a small bra, 32. It's a, just a fruit of the loom, but brand new with tags. And like I said, I'm paid next to nothing for that. This is cool. This is a Slim Shaper by Sears. It's a size extra large, brand new with tags. I got these Kate Spade Sparkle Pink Tights and a medium large. This is just a Vasseret Cami in white and it is a size extra large. Perfect for undershirts. Another Nike sports bra. Let's see. This one's smaller. I would say it's a small. And it is the dry fit. And the last item is another Under Armour. Racer back. Okay. So that was a lot of bras. Moral of the story is bras do sell. So um, when you see them, uh, especially little sports bras or any kind of Victoria's Secret, Kashyyyk from Lane Bryant, um, and even everyday bras, if you can get them for the price that I got them today, which is probably about 25 cents a bra, definitely pick it up. Um, you'll make great money on it. Um, new with tags items, obviously those two, but it was uh, not a bad day at the bins, especially because I was only there for an hour. I just thought I would stop in and share with you what I'll be selling today. If there's anything that interests you, please hit me up. I'm glad to um, make deals for any of my viewers and would love to hear your thoughts on what I got, um, good or bad, um, either way. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. I'll be doing a lot more videos now that I am back to normal and um, would love to share my journey with you. Okay, until next time, I'm Angie. Have a great day. Bye-bye.